a shot of the Flash tearing through parademons in the final Justice League battle that wasn't in. The movie's theatrical cut is revealed in a VFX reel. Released November of last year, Warner Brothers Ensemble Movie saw DC's premier group of heroes band together for the first time on the big screen to battle Steppenwolf and his army of extraterrestrial monsters known as Parademons. While original helmsman Zack Snyder still got the sole directing credit for the movie, it was Joss Whedon who ultimately had a say on the movie's version that people saw in theaters. Having manned the alleged extensive reshoots when Snyder had to step down from the project due to personal tragedy, eight months after it rolls out, Justice League continues to be a favorite topic of conversation among fans. Talks about the possible release of the Snyder Cut are still going around. And Henry Cavill is still hunted about his CGI-removed mustache in the film. Related, Justice League flashback battle was originally for Darkseid's anti-life equation VFX artist. Nicholas Hogan shared an animation reel on his Vimeo featuring a collection of scenes in various movies that he worked on, including Justice League. The montage featured the Flash partaking in the League's relentless battle against parademons in the movie's third action action set piece. Interestingly, however, Barry's running up the walls of the building, tearing through several parademons on his way before a close-up of them taking care of one last extraterrestrial that wasn't in the flick's final cut. Admittedly, the removed scene was too short to make any significant narrative impact unlike other deleted scenes in the film. Case in point, Victor Stone's pre-cyborg football scene. But the shot was so cool that it would have been an efficient use of screen time that would make Flash even more appealing. Seeing him do more heroic stuff like that helps establish his place as one of the best heroes in all of DCEU, one that people should keep an eye on in the future. More often than not, short character moments like this is or what audience members remember from action-packed movies. Like Justice League, the deleted scene might have even sparked people's interest on a solo Flash film moving forward. Which is something that Warner Brothers is planning on doing. Furthermore, the fact that it was just a second long footage meant that it wasn't going to screw up the mandatory two-hour running time for the film. Speaking of a Flash standalone movie, latest news about the project claims that it will no longer be titled Flashpoint. As previously revealed, while details of the original idea were never divulged to the public, the title itself gave people the impression that Warner Brothers and DC Films were looking to mine narrative inspiration from the quintessential Flash comic book narrative of the same name. Instead, Barry Allen's first standalone might be tackling a different story, one that might be more self-contained considering that the DCEU is reportedly focusing on making solo films than building a shared cinematic universe. That said, Spider-Man Homecoming and Game Night writers Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly are still attached to direct the movie. Source. Nicholas Hogan, Vimeo Tags. Justice League looking for an AD-free experience on screen rant.